Will these dancing robots turn into killers soon? According to their manufacturer Boston Dynamics, that's not going to happen. Together with five other leading robotic companies, they pledged to not weaponize their robots. But can this really stop the rise of killer robots? Six of the world's leading companies for advanced mobile robotics from China, North America and Switzerland signed a letter of intent stating we pledge that we will not weaponize our advanced mobility general purpose robots or the software we develop that enables advanced robotics and we will not support others to do so. Hold on, is it really necessary to make such a pledge? Are we that close to something like a Terminator? Well, yes. Several armies around the globe are testing general purpose robots like the ones made by Boston Dynamics. And countries invest heavily. The market for military robots is estimated at around 15 billion US dollar for 2021 and is expected to double until 2030. The US Department of Defense alone had an estimated budget of 7.5 billion US dollar in 2021 for robots and drones. And there are lots of other robotic companies that do not share the values of Boston Dynamics. Ghost Robotics, for example, is especially targeting military customers. For its robot Vision 60, a weapon manufacturer already has a mountable gun available that can be remotely controlled. And drones are already locking in targets autonomously. A United Nations report assumes that they have already killed humans without connection to a pilot in Libya in March 2020. So a fully autonomous robot with a license to kill seems to be the next logical step, at least from a technical point of view. Politically, this step is more controversial, but not even the United Nations could ban killer robots. In their latest update of the Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons in 2021, a ban of these weapons was discussed, but no agreement was reached. So, what is the pledge of six robot manufacturers worth? Well, it's a nice gesture that might raise awareness, but also questions at the same time. The letter explicitly excludes existing technologies and does not condemn the use of robots for non-lethal military purposes. And it remains unclear what can be done if a customer does not follow the manufacturer's commitment. Just take a look at the Ukraine war. Standard commercial drones are used as weapons, even though that was never the manufacturer's intention. They even built in control mechanisms like a limited flight range or no-fly areas to prevent the misuse of their drones, but these are easily hacked. The six companies are aware of these shortcomings. We call on policymakers to work with us to promote safe use of these robots and to prohibit their misuse. We also call on every organization, developer, researcher and user in the robotics community to make similar pledges not to build, authorize, support or enable the attachment of weaponry to such robots. What do you think? Can robots be stopped from becoming weapons of the future? Or are we going to see them soon on the battlefield? Let us know.